All right, the last video was cut off because the battery died on this thing. And um, I was talking about what I was doing to this side of this bed. So it's pretty empty right now. This is what I've labeled um, gravel bed number one. And what I've got in here is uh, I've got three, I believe these are crookneck squash or zucchini. I don't remember exactly. It's one, two, and three. I've been having some trouble with this bed because I had it on a flood and drain cycle and the flood and drain cycle was pretty fast. It would flood very quickly and then it would drain very quickly and then it would repeat and so on and so forth. I think what was happening was the plant roots were getting too wet and the plant roots were rotting. So what I've done is over here, let me show you that, I've converted this thing to continuous flow. I'm not sure if you could see that. I'm using a camera phone. It's always really hard to tell. Let's get a shot of that. There we go. So that pipe is down in there. Um, about, I'd say, three inches from the top of the gravel. Or a little bit under eight centimeters. Uh, whatever measuring system you use. So, I'm going to see how this works. I had peppers in here. They didn't. I've had two sets of bell peppers. Both of them died. Both had root rot. I couldn't, can't, can't get them to grow right. So I'm trying to see what happens now since the, uh, the gravel level is a little bit lower. Over here it's a little bit higher than it is on this side. I'm not sure if that's because the water comes in here and takes a while to get over there or what. Or maybe it, it, this thing is not exactly level either. I have to go under there and shore it up some. i got to get a jack. But anyway, we're going to see how that works. Something of interest kind of don't want to take these out. I, sh I should have filmed this while I was messing with it. The roots on these things, the bottom roots look dark as if they're not oxygenated, they're not getting uh, they're not getting air. The top of the roots are nice and they're white. They look new and they're white. So it looks like the top roots are good. It's probably what's keeping them alive and the bottom roots are not so good. Another thing is that I took these from a local plant nursery who has a vendor and who knows where they buy them from. I wonder if they have any kind of some kind of root hormone that's put into the soil mix that's interfering with uh, I don't know what it's doing or, or if it's there or not just an idea and as usual this side here okra is unbelievable look at that um, this is Cuban Cuban basil um, excuse me this is not Cu uh, Cuban oregano this is growing like crazy I had a little uh, cover here. The wind just blew it off. As you can see, it's, it's down here. And as we walk over this way, um, some of these little seeds were from a basil plant. I let it go to seed. Some of the seeds dropped in here and they just started growing. Uh, these are two little, uh, let's see, looks like that might be more basil. These are two lettuce, lettuce plants. I just threw the seeds in here. I got two to germinate interesting idea. This is a broccoli experiment. Uh, this one not doing so well. This bed, I'm going to dig up a little bit. As you can see, it's flooded all the way to the top. And I've kept it that way on purpose. This is kind of like a deep water culture except it's full of rocks. And the reason why I did that was I don't have any supplemental uh, biofiltration for the fish tank. This is it. So since I converted the other bed to I guess a subsurface flow that's a couple of inches below the substrate. I wanted to make sure I get some good nitrification by having this entire gravel substrate act as a biofilter. So this is a pyre. Just so happens that eggplant and these herbs and stuff don't not sure about the broccoli yet. They like the water being high. So they do well in deep water culture. They would do well here. That's been my understanding so far. So we'll see as time goes what's going to grow in what bed and uh, I'm gonna probably expand this out at some point and see what I can grow in the uh, media beds and what's gonna have to go into the wicking garden which is on the other side of the yard I'll get to that in another video so have some updates for you soon see y'all later